is up, Humanoid Nation? It's time for a Team Coco video. His videos with Jordan Shalansky are just hilarious. I still can't tell if Jordan actually like this or he's just playing a character. But I don't know. I met weird people like Jordan, but not as weird as Jordan. That doesn't make any sense. But anytime, anytime you see Jordan Shalansky and Coco Conan together, it's going to be hilarious. So anyways... Team Coco, Conan reunites with Jordan Shalansky. Let's do this! Hi there, I'm Conan O'Brien. I know I've been gone for a little while, and so uh, we need to listen to his podcast. We are probably wondering, hey Conan, where have you been? What you been up to? Well, frankly, it's none of your concern. <laughs> Mind your own business. I'm sort of trying to assemble some of the old team, get them together, and talk about what's in the future. So please welcome I miss a man late night who still is getting paid, despite the fact that my show ended over a year ago, and still, as far as I'm concerned, we have no, no idea clue what... as to what he does. What does he do? Jordan, Jordan, come on in. All right, Jordan. Good, thank you. Great beard. We have not seen each other since the show ended a year ago, and I just wanted to know how you're doing. I'm doing fine, thank you. Would you care to elaborate? Um, I am adequately progressing through this period of my life. Okay, so you feel that uh, optimistic about the future? I'm neutral. Neutral. Yeah, neutral. Have you had is. COVID? No, I have not. You never got COVID? No, I know how to protect myself from the various threats that exist. No, I think that virus wanted nothing to do with you. Frankly, <laughs> 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 that virus was laying waste to everyone children, old people, completely not discriminating. And then. Old COVID came along and was like, oh, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not fucking with Jordan. I'm going to be over here. <laughs> we found the cure for COVID. It's Jordan Schlansky. Anyway, glad you didn't get COVID. Okay. I had it because okay. I'm an appealing personality. I wanted to talk to you. Mm -hmm. His dead facial expression. One year since we ended the late night show on TBS. Everywhere I go, mm -hmm. I am besieged by people who say, we miss you, and we really miss seeing you in Jordan. Okay. And so, I just want to be frank. Yeah. Your appearance has changed. Uh-huh. Okay? Yeah. And kind of balding up there now. And an employer, you don't look like the Jordan that is in all of the remotes that we did together. Okay. Your appearance has changed. Okay. Now, let me tell you why this is important to me. I look amazingly similar to the man that graced television screens starting in 1993. I'm agile. I'm lean. I am very serious about my diet. I eat soy, soybeans, but I only eat the shell of the soybeans. Are you aware that the consumption of soy may interfere with your body's estrogen levels and consequently testosterone? Have you thought that might compromise? That was a now I know. I didn't before, but thank you, Jordan. Problem. That was a problem. I was a double D cup. Are you talking about your breasts? Yes. I had full womanly lactating breasts. I didn't even know that. Now you tell me. Flat. It was fun. My point is that I have kept this look going. Now we talk to you. Okay. Okay? Look, look over here. Look yeah. at this beard. My issue isn't okay. with the beard itself. It's the appearance of the beard. What's happening here? You're all gray. Okay. And then, I mean, look at this. This is quite unusual. It looks like a tarantula is fucking your mouth. <laughs> okay. I want this, Jordan. Okay. I need, to, I need to use that line from now on. A tarantula is fucking your mouth. That you now look, I'm going to guess 75, okay. maybe 80. Hey, and thanks for your work in the Korean conflict. Right. You really served our country. I would like you to do what I've done. Look at me. I haven't changed. Look at this. Look at this. These are funny moves. I can do this. I'm here. I'm over here. Right. I haven't lost anything. You've gained. What are you talking about? Bulk. No, I have not. If you could separate out your head from the rest of your body and weigh your head, you might find that that weighs more than your head weighed, say, 10 years ago. You think my face got fat? There's been a, a widening. 
You're I won't use the word fat, but, uh, and who's to say that it's a negative thing? Some people may desire this. Men go to the gym and work out to build that kind of- Nobody, nobody, especially an Irishman, right. goes to a gym to make his face fatter. No, <laughs> no one's ever yeah. done that. If Do you think Ted Kennedy used to say, well, I'm, uh, I'm off to the spa. I'm gonna get my, uh, my I... face made even wider. You think he did that? No. <laughs> I'm here to answer your question as an objective observer. It's possible, although I'd have to do more research, your nose may have descended a bit in the front. It's possible at the front of the- What are you talking about, Jordan? What in the hell? The nose may have descended a bit. I'd really have to do further research, look at some old photographs and compare uh, to make that determination confidently. Oh, man. But you're... I'm only acting as an objective observer. You're freaking me out. Look, look, from here to here, you're really the same. Good. Okay. So here to here, same. Yes. Here to here, things are going to shit. Uh, here to here, changing. okay. And then what about here to here? There's, I feel that there's been an alteration. And again, who's to judge? It may be superior. It may, you have maybe intentionally <laughs> done it. What I'm saying is, uh, if what you I, look What do you back, mean intentionally what? done what? I've been doing crunches. Okay. I, I do. Up to you have to exhale when you do the crunches. You understand it? It's important to breathe. Otherwise, you get an, a distended uh, ab abdominal area. I don't know if that's your issue. It's important I breathe. It may not be necessary for you to breathe. I see some personality um, changes in your life that are reflected in your physical state. In the past year, the show has ended. You feel as if you're contributing adequately to, to the comedic population by doing a podcast once a week. And suddenly you're like, I'm gonna enjoy myself. I deserve it. I worked hard all these years. Let's let myself go. And this is, may have been an intentional desire of yours. I mean, why restrict yourself to strips of turkey when you can eat pork chop? Okay. If that's what, what you're interested in consuming, I'm not you, here to tell you, you that it's wrong. You think I'm around eating pork chops? I'm saying. Yo, what the hell is he talking about? Jesus Christ, Jordan. I'm, I'm telling when you. When was the last time you ate a pork chop? I On pork chop Tuesday and pork chop Thursday. No, I want and to also know, on pork chop in Saturday. 2000, I don't eat pork, eat pork chops. chops. I guarantee you eat pork chops because when you were a child, there was one pork chop 2Q on the table of you and your siblings, and your brother Neil took it. He always so took now, it. So he now always he, took it. You don't have the pork chops. Neil always took the pork chop. Neil always took the pork chop and he's got it now. To review, do you think that I could do a little better? I don't disagree and I will address it. What I'm saying is you have let yourself go. No, I, I did not let myself go. I just went. See, where did you go? See, decay physically, sometimes they let themselves go voluntarily and sometimes despite their best efforts, they just go. So I you just tried. Went. This is with trying. I maintain my grooming regimen. You're, I have my dignity. No, you haven't. I have my dignity. You haven't I maintain maintained. This, this beard is incredibly groomed. I don't have angular chylitis. I've clearly cleared the areas away from my mouth to avoid a fungal infection. Okay, this was your plan to be tarantula raped in the mouth constantly and perpetually wherever you go. Listen, I know that our purpose here is not simply for you to ridicule me and belittle me. I know that's not in your nature. I can om only assume this is gonna end at a prestigious Beverly Hills salon or with some medical aesthetic professional who's here to improve my experience. No. I, am, I am happy to comply, let's, uh, let's proceed. Jordan, no. First of all, that was the old Conan who had a deal with a big network. It had money. That kind of shit. Would you mind putting this over your beard so it looks like flesh color? I just wanna see what you would look like if we got you back <laughs> to the old Jordan. Bye-bye, Tarantula. Let's get you back to looking like the old Jordan. Now, this is not sophisticated, but it does let the viewer see a glimpse of the old clean-shaven Jordan with his fleshy face. Get the old color back. <laughs> get his bald spot. There we go. Hey, good news. Listen to this. Soon with no lead. Oh, shit. No time to button. No okay. time to button. There was always Give me time that to attitude button. and look. Right in there. <laughs> You're on your way back, buddy boy. Okay. Jordan being weird as ever. Don't still. Oh, my God.
My brain is working overtime trying to understand what he's trying to say. Anyway, that's it for now. Jordan has broken me. Take care, guys. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave, suavecito.